Hi, everybody. This is a wee bit of alchemy. I'm Rick Barrett. Welcome. Tonight, I'd like to continue with our discussion about mobilizing chi and the different steps that uh, are required to make that happen and a way to optimize the mobilization and um, picking up from the last week's topic that of finding the the still point like in the pendulum and the pendulum moves if you just focus on the movement it looks like continuous movement but there actually are points there where the pendulum turns around and in that moment even though it lasts zero time there is you're moving from you're slowing down to zero movement so it, but in that movement in that moment there is maximum energy potential. And a similar thing is occurring in a, let's say in a Taiji form, where you're moving from yin to yang or yang to yin, there's a turnaround there. And when that happens in that moment, even though it looks like the movement is continuous, in that turnaround, there is a moment of stillness, even if it lasts zero time. So that in, if we can, when in our practice, we can learn to identify those still points and hover there for a non-zero time, we can then activate the mobilization. We do it by holding poles in opposition in that, in that, in that point. So we're, we're focusing and we're like getting into those, those quiet spots. And whenever you get really familiar with those turnarounds, get really familiar with those still points and you learn to suck the nectar out of them, you're able then to, even at a much higher speed, you're able to activate the mobilization. So then whenever you enter into that, that still point, there's a, things get a little woo woo and that's kind of fun. So uh, the one way of, um, that I've found of really recognizing this is by identifying what, they, what are the yin movements and what are the yang movements in a tai chi form? It doesn't have to be tai chi, it can be a qigong form um, or no form. Any kind of movement where you are becoming very mindful of the movement and the stillness and the feeling, you actually tap into the feeling of those, of those states. When you do that, then you shift your state of awareness into a super conscious state and you're able to then tap into something much bigger, something much greater than that which can be generated by your muscles. And this is, you know, we're getting in the realm of Jin now. And by exploring the Jin, we then move into the spiritual side of Taiji Chuan. So the, um, I gave it some thought this week and like, since every movement has yin and yang in it, so there's nothing where it's ever purely yin or purely yang. You know, I may be in the yin part of the movement, but my arms may be doing a yang expression. I may be like doing my roll back, my hands are doing a yin type movement, they're down and in, but it's a yang expression. So what is the key to what makes it yin and what makes it yang, particularly as applied to a Taiji form? And I came up with something, which I guess, you know, I've been doing, but I hadn't really thought about, and that is the qua. Whenever the, we release the qua, that is a yin point in, 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 a, in a posture. 
whenever we turn the waste. So we have these two separate qualities there. If we release the qual, we're moving into a yin state. And when we turn the waste, then it is a yang expression. So if we think of it in those terms, something very interesting happens. Let's just say, let's say I'm, I'm going to keep my weight in my front leg and I'm going to execute a punch. So as I, I'm going to spiral down to the right. So I'm releasing the left claw, spiraling down to the right and loading up my front leg. And this is a yin activity. I'm settling into the posture. And at that point, so where I, I go from, from a yang to then there's a moment of recognition of, oh, I want to get yin now. And so I release the claw. But between that yang expression and the yin loading, there is a moment, a moment of stillness. And that's where, so then I load up with the yin chi and I wait here and recognize that still point of the loading. And this is where I'm drawing the bowstring back. Even though my body is, is relaxed, I'm just sort of settling down in, I'm gathering mobilizing the chi. What happens now? Then I say, okay, we're going from yin to yang. We're going from the still point to movement. And then I reach out with my hand, yang. So what happens there? I'm turning my waist and the turn of the waist allows for a yang expression. <laughs> 